Hi everyone and welcome to your tarot love messages. This is going to be a reading for anyone who I feel like needs to hear the messages here. So we're going to take a look at the one who broke your heart here, the one who hurt you, who pained you. Um, we'll see what the cards here are telling us about this person and their energy and maybe what the future might still hold for the two of you or what might happen from here, what happens next. This is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email just below the video here. So I just want to mention that I feel like there's a particular reason. If you have come across this video and if you clicked on this video, I believe that there's a particular um, reason why you're drawn to this video. Maybe there are some messages here that might resonate with you. Some of these messages may be confirmation, validation of what you're feeling or thinking about this person and their energy and your situation with them. Maybe it's just a message that you need to you need to be you know gently reminded of. So for whatever reason, I do feel like there's you know a reason why you're drawn to this particular video and why you know you've clicked on it. So if you've clicked on this video, I do believe that there may be a message or two in here that is meant for you and it's meant to reach you. So we'll be using the Angel Answers Oracle cards as well just to see what are some messages the angels might be whispering to you about this person and about you know the possibility of maybe reconciling with them or just see what the future holds for the two of you. Um, so let's go ahead and begin. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Let me give the cards a shuffle here. Just move these up here out of the way for the time being. Okay, you've got a lot of air energy here, and of course air energy governs mental energy, which is represented by the suit of swords here. And swords are a destructive weapon, okay? They're very powerful, they can be used for both good and bad, but I can see how that there's a lot of emotional anguish and a lot of hurt, pain and overwhelmment in the energies here. So this is someone who's hurt you. I feel like this is someone who's hurt you either with their actions, their words, their intentions. This is someone who I feel like has definitely pained you. For some of you, you feel like this is someone who's rejected you or who's betrayed you or you just didn't think that anyone was capable of hurting you the way that they have. The fact that the suit of swords here, you know, correlates to the element of air, which does represent the mind, the intellect, our thoughts, our choices, um, you know, our decisions and communications. I do feel like that for some of you, I feel like there may be still some communication between the two of you. So even though you guys might not necessarily be in a relationship, some of you are still talking. And look, that communication may not be exactly what you want it to be, but I feel like even if it's, you know, very um, sparse or even if it's just very blunt, I do feel like there's still some communication. Whilst for others, I feel like this is an indication that the two of you will be communicating in the future. Will you be reconciling your differences? Will you be, you know, communicating on uh, like friendly terms? Will they reach out and try and connect with you and hopefully try and establish something with you? This is hard to say, but ultimately the fact that Wheel of Fortune has made an appearance here in your spread does tell me that, you know, whatever here is happening for you right now and whatever is yet to happen in the future is all interwoven into your fate and destiny with this person. I do get a very strong like soul like a soulmate vibe or energy from this person and for a lot of you I feel like you do have a soul contract with this person and it's not yet being fulfilled or it's not yet being manifested here which is why to me it feels like the two of you even though you hurt each other or this person has hurt you so much some of you are you know listening to this and you're thinking you don't know whether you can find it in your heart to forgive them you don't know if you feel like you know, you can love them again. 
in the way that you know you've loved them here so for some of you i feel like it's very like you're questioning a lot of things because of the pain and the hurt that this person has caused you you're questioning a lot of like you're questioning you know whether the like the fate of this connection and the future of this connection and you're questioning whether or not the two of you can go back to you know how things were in the start but to me it feels like a lot of you whether you realize it or not there is unfinished business and this is why i feel like with the wheel of fortune this is why i feel like you will have a chance to reconnect with this person or this person you and this person will cross paths together okay so if the two of you are in complete separation now or in a complete disconnection now i feel like and even if it's not you purposely deliberately orchestrating this event or even if it's not your like soulmate here orchestrating this event it is destiny that's going to orchestrate you have to understand that the fates and the threads like the threads of fate and the threads of destiny are going to connect you two together so even if it is not within your plan you have to realize that this is within the plan of the divine here this is within the plan of cosmos because i do get a strong energy of this being a soul mate connection you know a and I feel like for a lot of you, you have a soul contract with this person. This is the person that you're meant to end up with. This is the person that you're, at least you're destined, you know, to fulfill a destiny with each other. I mean, it's interwoven into your fate, into the both of you, into your destinies here. The Eight of Swords, okay, for some of you, you're dealing with a strong air energy, a Gemini, a Libra, Aquarius. Or someone who may have placement in their chart strong gemini vibe is coming through just because of the duality of the moon card here not obviously the element of air so i'm getting strong gemini vibes here and um, for some of you i feel like with your person there's a lot of inconsistencies in their energy which again makes which sort of creeps up any doubts or reservations you might have because sometimes you feel as though your person has two sides to them okay it's like they're almost a twin here and you don't know which twin you're going to you know you're going to be dealing with on this specific day so for a lot of you i feel like there's a lot of inconsistencies with their energies or with their behavior here and this puts you this there's a lot of emotional and mental uncertainty okay so this gives birth to a lot of emotional and mental uncertainty because you're just not sure how this person feels about you because sometimes they're very hot other times they're very cold it's very on and off you know they're he they're there there's a very emotionally scattered energy or vibe to this person to their energy here okay but with the eight of swords i mean someone here i feel like is trapped by their set of circumstances or at least this is how they feel i feel like with regards to your person they want to come forward okay they want to come forward they want to reach out for a lot of you you have to understand that this is someone who especially if they're an air sign this is someone who's been thinking about you a lot i feel like this person has it's almost like they've been driving themselves to the verge of insanity because they keep replaying something is it keeps going around in circles they keep either replaying the last conversation they had with you or they keep replaying the moment that very specific moment in which they actually broke your heart you know and shattered this connection or they're replaying all the wonderful memories that the two of you built together it's like they keep going around and it's the more i feel like the more they think of you the more memories resurface for them or the more that they try to put together because this is someone who's been trying to put together it's like they're trying to hold a conversation between you and them in their head okay and they're trying to sort of preempt what you might say to them if they do reach out and if they do connect you like this and if they do try and connect with you this is someone who i feel like has been trying to like they're stringing together a text message and it's just sitting there in the phone and all that they have to do is hit send but they just can't bring themselves to do it there's something here that holds themselves that hold them back it could be them it could be like a fee because i'm getting you know with the moon card it is fee it's anxieties and i feel like they just there's such an uncertainty about where the two of you stand now or about whether or not this connection has a future or they're just scared they're scared how you might react they're scared that the two of you you know will fall back into old patterns there's such a fear and such an anxiety that governs their energy look there may be someone who's naturally you know prone to being anxious or you know even prone to mental disorders so maybe that's what I'm picking up. But for you know a lot of you, I do feel like that this person is so fearful. 
The other thing that I get is whatever's happened here between the two of you, I feel like this person is also scared of love and of opening themselves up to love. They're scared because you are someone that they could love. And this is what I feel like they're scared of moving forward, okay? Because I feel like they do have strong feelings for you. But at the end of the day, maybe some of this is unfamiliar territory for them. And they are afraid. I, I, I sense a very strong fear in them. They are afraid to open themselves up. They are afraid to come forward. And they've been doing a lot of thinking, okay? Just because they're not communicating with you, do not be fooled by thinking this person is not thinking at all. Or even if they are, like, it's not thinking at all about you because you do cross their mind. In fact, you're on their mind on repeat. It's like they keep playing memories like keep looping around and around and they keep thinking about the things that you know you'd say to them or they try to preempt like I said they're, they're holding conversations that you know you and them might potentially have in the future and they're trying to preempt what you might say so they can be ready for when that conversation does take place notice with the knight of wands and the knight of swords it's a very unsettled energy both these two knights unlike the other two in the tarot deck are in mid-action they're charging in mid-air and notice how they're both heading towards one direction so your person keeps looking back i feel like your person is really fixated on you know they're stuck they're stuck on the past and they're stuck on what happened okay or whatever it is that they did or said to you or whatever it is that transpired and unfolded between the two of you they they're stuck there and they're not moving on from that spot or that you know place just yet even if it's just emotional it may be physical for some of you but i feel like this person even if they are in a relationship or even if they are connected with someone else, their energy is very stagnated. It's like they still think about you and they still hold feelings for you and they still, you know, keep revisiting memories of you. So how can they move forward? Even if they are in a relationship, that relationship does not have momentum. That relationship does not have movement purely because your person is not ready to move on, you know, with or without you. They're just still stuck here. It, this does tell me that they will reconnect with you, okay? I do feel like, and I have mentioned again, whether or not this is you purposely, deliberately trying to orchestrate a meeting, an event between the two of you, whether you guys plan on, plan or intending or intend on meeting or communicating again, I feel like this is out of your control because the universe feels like the two of you have unfinished business. The universe feels like the two of you are meant to cross paths together because you've got a soul contract or because you still have unresolved feelings for one another, unfinished business, or because there's still, you know, the potential and the realization of this connection hasn't been manifested. So there's still something there that needs completing or that needs a realizing or that needs manifesting here. So once again, you know, the threads of fate will be connecting the two of you together because I do feel like this person is going to come back into your life. And I feel like there's definitely a want and a desire to do that. And to me, I mean, it feels like it's almost like they've got this charged up energy and it's almost like they're rushing back into your life. So this can either happen really unexpectedly or it can really just really catch you off guard here. And I did mention with the moon card, like the right now they're in a place where they're very stagnated and they're sort of flipping and flopping back and forth on their emotions. So a part of them wants so, so badly to reach out and connect with you. Okay, so much so like they've devised text messages and they've devised conversations that the two of you will hold together in their head. Okay, this is this is just how you know strongly they want to reach out and communicate with you. But then there's another part of them that's not sure. They're not sure if you're going to be receptive. They're not sure if you're going to be responsive. They're not sure if you're just going to you know reject them or just going to shut them down. And that's the part of them that holds them back. And essentially, it's like a fear or anxiety that's governing their actions here. And that's a part of them that, you know, keeps them stuck here. I feel like when this person does come back into your life, to me, I get a strong message that the two of you need to hold yourself accountable. You need to hold yourself accountable and also this person for what they've done here. Okay, especially with the King of Swords energy here. And look, I can see that it's in a very um, emotionally complicated state of affairs with the Wheel of Fortune. But again, I feel like the Divine is going to orchestrate a meeting between the two of you in the future here.
and it may happen when you least expect it as well. So we'll see what the angels, the angel answers have to say for you. Okay, we've got take action and I feel like maybe it is a message for you. Maybe it's a message that needs to reach you. Maybe there's something that you've been thinking about, okay? Maybe they have already reached out and try to connect with you and you've been thinking about responding but I feel like there's something that you need to take action on with regards to this connection okay I'm not sure how that fits personally into your like I'm not sure how that fits into your personal narrative but if there's something here you've been thinking about doing whether it's reaching out communicating with this person or just cutting ties you've been thinking about something too long you've been letting it marinate for way too long in your mind you have to take action is what the angels are instructing you to do or maybe it's a message for your person for them to take action because if they don't they'll continue to be stagnated communicate clearly okay communication is going to be very important because there is plenty of room for misunderstandings and right now the the end like the emotions are so high and i feel like you're both really emotionally sensitive to what's going on and to what's happened that it's important to you know communicate very clearly and it's important to not misunderstand what each other feels and what each other you know intends for the future of this connection be assertive okay so there's definitely a need to be assertive here just be confident be assertive in how you approach the situation. Be assertive in your communication here. Okay, be assertive with what it is that you want. Do not lower your standards. Do not try to shrink yourself to fit something that you might have outgrown. Look for a sign. And it's funny how that is placed on top of the Wheel of Fortune. So for those of you that have been, if you have, and a lot of you have, you've been receiving some synchronicities i feel like for those of you who are a little bit more awakened and a little bit more receptive i feel like you've been a lot more aware of this but the universe is almost always communicating with us and it does this through like symbols synchronicities dreams like repeating numbers patterns names okay so you need to look for a sign because it's just trying to tell you something now, for some of you, these signs are so obvious that they're almost like flashing at you in neon. Okay, that's how obvious it is. But if you're not, if you are not open to these signs, you will still not see it, even if it, you know, hits you right in the head. So for, for a lot of you, I feel like you need to open up yourself and uh, be a little bit more receptive because there is, the universe is trying to communicate to you. And if you want to know about, you know, your person and their energy and just about where to go from here and where to take things to the universe is trying to guide you it's trying to guide you it's trying to tell you you know what steps you should take next or which direction to go so look for a sign a symbol a dream a pattern because um, they're all around you but it's a matter of you know identifying those signs and then interpreting them those particular signs to fit your own personal narrative Okay, guys, and these are your messages. I do hope that these have been helpful for at least some, if not all of you watching. Once again, I do feel like there's a reason here you were drawn to this video. There's no such thing as coincidences. If there are, then I feel like they themselves are meaningful. I want to thank you all for your time and your attention. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, sharing, commenting. For those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to connect. Otherwise, take care.